In this demo, I will create a Cloud Run function that talks to the JAMA2 model hosted in the Olama service. When a file gets uploaded to the cloud storage bucket, it will call the Cloud Run function, which in turn calls the backend JAMA model to provide a text summarization based on the content of the file uploaded. Let's get started. First, I will create a Cloud Run function via the UI. Let's give the function a name. Let's go ahead and add a storage trigger, uh, which use a cloud storage bucket where the files can be uploaded to. Let's go ahead and save the trigger. And going back to this cloud run function, let's go ahead and click create. While waiting for the function to be created, let's take a look at this inline code editor here. We have some pre-populated sample code to help you get started. Why don't we just jump right in to put down some code for our demo application? First, let's import the libraries we will need for this project. And then let me pass the Olama service URL to this code as the environment variable. Let's go ahead and retrieve an ID token in case our Olama backend service requires authentication. Now let's go ahead and construct a prompt. We're going to ask Gemma to provide a text summary based on the data provided. Let's take a look at this piece of code called Configure GenKit. Here I am leveraging Firebase GenKit, which is Google's open source framework that enables you to build AI-powered applications. GenKit supports both first-party and third-party models. And here I am specifying Gemma 2 2B as the model that GenKit needs to work with. Finally, we're getting to the exciting part of this code. This is the main entry point of our event handler. So let's go ahead and get the bucket and the file name first. And then I will download the content of the file to a local variable. And this will be part of the prompt that gets passed to the JAMA model. Now we can send the file contents to Gemma through Jenkins generate function. Jenkins is really great as it helps me to interact with all these large language models like Gemma too. I don't need to worry about any of the low level details of the interfacing with the models while I get to focus on writing my own application logic. Now once we get the response back from the Gemma model, let's lock the response. OK, so let's also then take care of the dependency needed for the application here. Let's go ahead and save and deploy this function. In the interest of time, let me switch to a pre-deployed Cloud Run function. And I'd like to show you a couple of things here. First, under this Revisions tab, We can see that I have an environment variable Olama URL that is already configured. And this is pointing to this backend Olama service. And this is where we get it passed to our code as we've seen early on. Let's go to this source tab. And I'd like to show you this has the identical source code as what we have just put together just a few moments ago. Now that we've seen all the building blocks for this demo app, Let's go ahead and see how it works. Let's go navigate to the cloud storage bucket under the triggers tab, which we have configured a moment ago. Let's go ahead and upload a multi-page cloud run function user guide. The moment this file gets uploaded, it's going to go ahead and trigger my cloud run function here, which in turn will call the JAMA2 model. 
there may be a cold startup time delay as the new container instance gets spun up for the backend Olama service. But once the instance is up, the subsequent calls into the JAMA model will be much faster. And there you go. We've got a three-sentence summary generated by the powerful JAMA model running on a GPU-enabled cloud run. So that concludes the demo.